According to the 2020 article, motor vehicle deaths estimated to have dropped 2% in 2019 on the National Safety Council's website. In 2019, an estimated of 38,800 people lost their lives to car crashes. But what if we could completely turn this to zero? Well, this could be possible and with, with companies like Tesla and General Motors pursuing self-driving cars. And I'm, heard, I'm sure from this, you've heard the controversy behind it. The question that keeps being asked is, well, should we have self-driving cars? With a close examination of the facts behind the safety features and efficiency of self-driving cars, I'm certain that this will lead you to believe that self-driving cars are a necessity. Well, uh, self-driving cars should be used instead of regular cars for three reasons. First, we'll go over how autonomous cars reduce car accidents. Then we'll go over how self-driving cars are fuel efficient. And then lastly, we'll go over how self-driving cars reduce traffic violations. And here we have a chart that shows the short-range radar uh, and park assist and wireless communications, which are all features of the self-driving car that, uh, that make it so safe and all these other things. Well, to begin, self-driving cars should be used rather than traditional cars because they greatly reduce uh, car accidents. According to the 2020 article on Verizon Wireless's website, are self-driving cars safe by expert of software development and machine learning with over a decade of experience and CEO of Ravis.com, Dr. Alessandro Lori, almost 94% of US accidents, accidents on US roads occur due to human error. So self-driving vehicles could drastically reduce the number of casualties and fatalities that occur on the roads today. Also, with self-driving cars, there's no distractions such as texting and driving or whatever could catch the human eye. And there's no road rage with these autonomous cars, so people won't be battling out on the streets, causing them to crash. Well, critics argue that there are several security threats involving self-driving cars and also cheaper alternatives for safety rather than self-driving cars. Self-driving cars can be hacked, according to the 2019 article, Autonomous Cars, Safety Opportunity or Cybersecurity Threat, by Rilan Elizage. Criminals might be motivated to hack into the vehicle's operating systems and steal important passenger data or else disrupt its operation and jeopardize the passenger's safety. Texting while driving bans offer a cheaper alternative to reduce human error rather than uh, producing self-driving cars. And cars could have added safety features such as where it will stop when things come across it, but this is already a safety feature of self-driving cars. While these risk and cheaper alternatives do exist, the positives of self-driving cars Safety enhancements are extremely effective. They outweigh it incredibly. Well, it is very uncommon for hackings of any sort. It's difficult as well. This will not happen. And with security bumping up, we will surely not see many hackings going on. Well, according to the 2020 article from the Transportation Research F Journal, the role of legal and moral norms to regulate the behavior of texting while driving by researcher of health communications and strategic communications, an investigator of texting and driving and other health-related concerns, Dr. Hyung Suk Kim. Despite a nationwide lawful effort to regulate texting while driving behavior, little change has been reported. So according to her, these don't even work. Why add a limited amount of safety features to assist with human error when it can just be completely eliminated? And as you can see with this chart from 2011 to 2016, up to 100,000 more and more people die every year to this. And as you can see, in 2016, 7 million people died. That's outrageous. We need to get rid of it, and self-driving cars is a good way to have that. Well, secondly, self-driving cars are more fuel efficient compared to traditional cars. Since humans are not controlling the vehicle, uh, it can operate in a more efficient way. Better fuel efficiency with these will save on gas. Fuel efficient vehicles reduce pollution and global warming emissions. And according to the 2019 news article, self-driving cars could be more fuel efficient rather than human driving, on the website of a partner of the NBC News, Axios Media. A new study by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory on behalf of Volvo showed a 5% to 7% drop in fuel consumption for cars driving with adaptive cruise control compared with, hu uh, with human drivers. Sorry about that. 
it is argued that self-driving cars will increase in gas consumption and that it's, the, it's not the most fuel efficient option. According to the 2019 article, self-driving cars may increase rather than decrease gas usage. On the OEM, Engineering Market Centered website, Machine Design, the researchers predict that the benefits of self-driving cars will likely cause vehicle owners to drive more. And those extra miles could partially or completely offset any potential energy saving benefits that automation may provide. They also argue that electric cars are a more fuel efficient option. And they also argue that a rise in fuel consumption can greatly affect our environment, like you see with that one source, that uh, that's what they expect to happen, a rise in fuel consumption. Well, we need better fuel efficient now, and we cannot not take this risk. We have to take this risk of, this, of our consumption rising. With more driving, the more of an incentive we will have in the first place for innovation. We will want more self -driving. we will want more fuel efficient vehicles. According to the 2017 article, Electric Car is Not Ready for Mass Production, yet Toyota Chairman to Spiegel, on the technology-based international news source, Router's website. Battery-powered cars are not ready for mass production, yet the chairman of Japan's Toyota Motors Corp told a German magazine. So electric cars are unprepared for mass production, while self-driving cars clearly are, as we have them today, way more than we have electric cars. A rise in fuel consumption because these vehicles are proven to be fuel efficient, we cannot afford to not take this risk. We need better fuel efficiency and we need it now. As you can see, it is way more likely based off of this chart from the University of Michigan for the, the fuel consumption to go down rather than increase. And travel cost reduction is one of the reasons why they believe it will increase. But look at all these reasons which why it would, and then add it all up, it's way more of a reduction of fuel uh, fuel used. Well, lastly, there will be a lot less traffic violations compared to traditional cars because self-driving cars, they have stuff that will make them not swerve into other lanes and things like that. And they're uh, safely operated, they're safely operated with their features, so none of this will happen. And, well, first, it will do away with drunk drivers. There'll be no more car accidents with drunk drivers. People dying because of this, no more DUIs. According to the 2020 article, a comprehensive vehicle detection and tracking technique for autonomous drivers from the International Journal of Computing and Digital Systems by a professor of American University of the Middle East and Cairo University, Whale Farig, computer vision techniques are Considered the main tool that provides in the compatibilities of sensing the surroundings environments for detection, identification, and tracking of moving vehicles. Self-driving cars will not cross the median or swerve off the road, which is a, a major traffic violation. And also, there will be a lot less money out of the American people's pockets going into these violations and the fines they have to pay for it. Well, people may argue that this takes away a huge part of government revenue and also take away the fun out of uh, driving. Well, according to the 2019 article, Addicted to Fines by Mike Masiag on the State and Local Government Center news source, Governing's website. Towns in South Georgia have suffered decades of a slow economic decline that's left them without much of a ta tax base. But they see a large amount of through traffic from semi-trucks and Florida bounded terrorists and they're grown reliant on ticketing them to meet their expenses. So some, some of these uh, rural cities in South Georgia actually need these tickets to be able to, to operate their city. And uh, also, uh, it could uh, result in police officers losing their jobs due to lack of funds and with, uh, with them not bringing in this money from these traffic violations. And it offers less of the fun part about driving. Well, the person has no control at all. Well, safety and saving money are more important than the government gain or the driving experience. Law enforcement focus on, uh, can have focus on much more important things like investigation of murders and robberies and uh, actually criminal activities. Traffic safety and money is crucial. Getting a rush from driving in a nonsensical way just seems unnecessary to me. And uh, fewer people will die of DUIs, which is far more important than law enforcement revenue. According to a 2019 article, Impaired Driving, Get the Facts, by Center for Disease Control on their website, every day, 29 people in the United States 
died in motor vehicle crashes that involved an alcohol-impaired driver. Well, this is whether the driver or the, uh, the, the, the driver of another vehicle that is not drunk, and they lose their life to something that's absurd, like drunk driving, and self-driving cars will cut that out. As you can see here, this ABC 13 News shared this article, and this is a picture of a car that was in a drunk driving accident. As you can see, there was fatalities from it, and the car is destroyed, it's very brutal. And uh, with self-driving cars, we won't have to see stuff like this on our news anymore, which is very sad to see. In conclusion, today, I went over how self-driving cars, in comparison to traditional cars, reduce accidents, are fuel efficient, and they greatly reduce traffic violations. Well, self-driving cars are clearly something that we need now. And uh, these cars will save thousands of lives save millions of dollars, and help save our environment. We need these cars. Self-driving cars will make our lives so much better. Let us make human driving cars a thing of the past and pursue self-driving cars for the betterment of our lives and for the earth. And here you can see that 70% uh, of people think that within the next 15 years, they, they could see themselves as a driver of a self-driving car. Well, 20% within more than 15 years, and 10% say never. So, I mean, about 90% of people see themselves driving cars in the foreseeable future, so why not us? I mean, be a part of this 90%. This will save lives.